Yes. You have no idea how long I have waited for this room. Six months. Six months it took uh, to the company Nat on Nat, which is a Norwegian company, to repair my drone. But I'm not here to talk about all the negative stuff. I'm here to fly some drone. Let's do it. I have 10% left on my camera and I need to charge my phone so I can get connected up with my drone. <sighs> oh. It's cloud. Oh. Like this is this is like Christmas all over again. 6 months. Imagine 6 months waiting for something. Shit happens, but now it's finally here. So I'm going to going to get all things charged up and ready to go. I don't think you have any idea how exciting that was. Even though I had to wait over six months to get this thing. Six months, yeah. Um, it was incredible. Like from the images that you just saw, I actually think they would look very professional if you ask me. At least some of them though. But there's one thing I haven't been honest about. With making videos on YouTube, there's always some things you don't want to show the viewers. And in this case, I really don't want to show you this because I'm embarrassed over this But it's, it's my fifth time flying a drone so it's okay So the first story uh, from when I was flying drone today was that In the first clip you see me hovering above my dad's car and viewing out on the city And after that my phone is very cold here so So out of nowhere the my phone goes flat It's black And I like freaked out. Night, then you know. I forgot the thing that when your phone dies and you on your phone disconnects from the drone, the drone is still hovering and uh, flying but it's not connected and you can't see anything from your phone so story two story two is actually much worse and i you have no idea how lucky i was so in this clip you see me hovering above my dad's car but i wasn't very happy with the shot you just saw so i went back and i tried again but this time it didn't really go that well so I got too close to my dad's car 
and I was driving too fast, so the drone hit the car. Okay, so what you just saw was that the drone stopped right, right, just right before the fence, before the water. And this is not just normal water, this is salt water. If your drone falls into salt water, there is no more drone. So another thing was that I was actually standing behind the car. So when the drone crashed into the car and fell down, I couldn't see it. The only thing I was waiting for was to hear a splash from the water. And luckily that did not happen. So... And as of this very moment, as I'm making this video, I am actually 2138 subscribers. Which is insane. So there is actually one another thing I want to talk about. Not drones, but um, I'm going to make a separate video where I'm talking about this. But just as you know, there are going to be big changes on my channel. Very big. But if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe subscribe and like this video it gets me very happy so as always i will see you in my next one bye